were trying to put their babies to sleep. But he was crying! Stop it! Stop it! Stop crying! Stop it! Will you stop that? You're only making it worse. How could I possibly make this any worse? I haven't slept in weeks. Look at my eyes. So cold and lifeless. Your eyes look the same as mine. What? So they call in a baby professional to put their baby to sleep. Baby professional? Hello! I am Snoozer! Snoozer, our baby is crying and we can't sleep. Do you know how to put him to sleep? Oh, please, Daddy Pug. I can put him to sleep in a gift. Oh dear, let me try a little jazzy wazzy. You've got to be kidding me. Your baby has no taste. I am sorry. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. I know. I will try a lullaby. That's what babies like. Wow. Well, great thinking there, Snoozer. Excellent work, as always. Yes! I remember the lullaby! Babies like lullaby! Hey, Checkers! Why do babies like lullabies? You know, that's a great question, Snoozer. I guess we have to talk to, like, a musical expert to learn something like that, wouldn't we? Yeah, I don't know any musical people. You know what, Snoozer? I think I might have a great answer for you. I know where we're gonna go on today's Reading Road Trip. Snoozer. Ascending in three, two, one. And we're off. Autopilot activated. So where are we going today? All right, Snoozer. Time for your three ends. I'm a Roddy Pot Pot. Hint number one. It's up high. Hint number two. We have to climb to reach it. And hint number three. It is full of music. Hmm. Climb. Like climb a mountain? And it has music? Oh! Are we going to music mountains? Yes, Snoozer, you got it! We are going to music mountains. A magical region full of music at every turn. We're looking for the Keys of Knowledge, which rest on the peak of the Music Mountains. If we find it, it will answer one question we have about music. Why do babies like lullabies? Why does some music make us happy and some music make us sad? Things like that, we're gonna learn today, Snoozer. Let me pull up the map. We are headed to Music Mountains. Along the way, we're gonna do a craft with Mrs. Hamilton. Oh boy, I wonder what it is. Well, whatever it is, Snoozer, I'm sure it's going to be a ton of fun. And hey, look! Here come the books! I'm going to catch some books, Snoozer. Where's the button for my net? That one! Here you go, Snoozer. Children's Book of Music by Deborah Locke. 
and Jazz Baby by Lisa Willier. All right, snoozer. Children's Book of Music. This book is an incredible resource for anyone interested in music. I'd say this book is best for older readers because it takes us through the history of musical styles, from early music to classical music to modern day music. We learn about the people that made their marks on musical history, as well as information on musical instruments, different cultures, and so much more. Hey checkers, it even comes with a frisbee. That would be a disc snoozer, so the reader can listen to some of the tracks described in the book and learn along with it. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, this book is a wonderful tool, Snoozer, but there are many different books about music and music history. And if kids like these books, they can go on the internet with their parents or guardians and learn more about music and even listen to the tracks described in the books. So there's a lot you can do with it. Hey, but while we're talking about music, don't you think this would be a great time to make your craft with Mrs. Hamilton? Let's do it! All right, well, let's bring on Mrs. Hamilton right now and make a musical-themed craft. Hey, Snoozer, are you ready to make your xylophone? Absolutely! Good to hear. So we are going to be needing these two sheets, this one and this one. So once you have those, it is time to cut out all the pieces. Well, that was a lot of cutting. All right, so first, we have to arrange the keys. Now notice how this starts out small and gets wider and wider, so you have to start. You're gonna have to decide how you want to space them. That's why I always lay out everything first. And then you can adjust. All right, I kinda got an idea. Alright, so here's my xylophone, and then the sticks, you can leave the sticks out in case you want to pretend you're playing the xylophone, do, 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 or you can glue them on any which way you want. I think for now, after you play with it a bit, you can stick them on so you don't lose them any way you want. You can put them in an X, because xylophone actually starts with the letter X even though it makes the Z sound. So here's mine. How does yours look? Here it is. I love it. All right, well, that was great fun. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can. Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Very good, Snoozer. That's excellent. I love how you have all the different colors on there. Thank you. What is the other book about? Ah, that would be Jazz Baby. This is one of those books that makes you energetic. It's a rhyming book that shows a family singing and dancing together. The baby gets up and is very excited as the music picks up. But when the music calms down, the baby gets really sleepy and quiets down, which shows us another way that music can make us feel, even at a young age. This is a really fun book. It has a real rhythm to it, a beat, and it's just an all-around enjoyable book to read. Cool! A jazz baby! That sounds jazzy! I like books that rhyme. I think I can read that book all by myself. You know what, Snoozer? I think you're right. I think you could read it all by yourself. But hey, we just arrived at the Music Mountains, preparing for landing.
you go, snoozer. Hey, look, snoozer, it's the key of knowledge. What are the keys of knowledge? I'll show you, snoozer. Hold on a second, I'm gonna go grab it. Okay, snoozer, so what question do you want to ask the keys of knowledge? I want to ask it. Why music makes us feel different things? Hi there. Hello, I am Snoozer. Very nice to meet you, Snoozer. How can I help? Why does music make us feel different things? That's a great question. I write music for a lot of different things. Stories and movies and songs people can sing and even just piano music that I like to play for myself. And no matter what I'm writing, I'm always trying to get the listener to feel something. But how does music do that? Well, what is music? It's sound organized. If I walk up to the piano and play a bunch of random notes, <laughs> that might be fun for me, but after a minute, it's not going to be very fun for you to listen to. Because it's not going anywhere. It doesn't mean anything. So, what if I was to put some of those notes together and play them at the same time, and pick which ones followed which ones with a purpose? We have music. So why do we like music? What makes it make us feel things? Well, let's start with a single note. Mm. I bet you didn't know that that wasn't the only note you just heard. Let's listen a little closer. Inside every single note, there are a bunch of other little harmonies we call overtones hiding in plain sight, or sound. And if you listen closely and put them all together, they make a major chord. We hear that sound a lot. And I think it just makes us feel safe and happy and settled. When you hear a major chord, you're not itching to hear a different chord. You could be at the end of the song. And the song is over. You don't have any feeling that it should have kept on going because it feels final. It feels like it's done. So how could we make it more interesting? Because that's not much of a song, right? Well, we can change some of the notes. Did you hear how, as I was coming back down, you knew where it was going to end? It was going to come back to that major chord that we love to hear so much. Let's take a different note and change it. Suddenly, our major chord is now a minor chord. And this one's typically known for making us feel sad or even scared. It's kind of spooky. You see, as we move a few notes a little bit away from our comfort zone, it's like we're wandering off a path into the woods and we don't know where we're going. We're getting lost. The only way to feel happy again is to come back to where we started. <laughs> you see, what we have is a sound that we know we like, and we'll have these other sounds that are a little different. 
And what they do is they make us want to go back home to that safe place. And so what we do with music is, is we pick chords and notes that are off the beaten track to make you want to go home. And if we take you back to that major chord, you'll feel happy. If we don't, you might feel sad, or scared, or anxious, or excited. We use different directions away or towards the, the starting point, if you will, to make you feel safe or to make you feel unsafe. And it's not a very drastic feeling. I'm not gonna scare you just by playing notes on the piano, but on a very small level, your brain knows that it likes what it's, what it's hearing or it doesn't in a little way. And so we can use that to sort of tip your emotions back and forth a little bit. Let me play just a little bit for you and see if I can make you feel a couple different things. Maybe we start off happy. Maybe a little bittersweet. Maybe sad. Maybe some intrigue. Boy, that felt complicated, didn't it? You see, the more I added these different notes and pulled away from what is expected, I was able to create emotion with music. Now, I could talk all day about all the different tricks we have. We can go faster to feel more excited, slower to feel more lazy. But at the end of the day, it just comes down to what makes us feel good and what doesn't. And we can kind of turn it up and down like a knob. So I think that's the short version, but in my opinion, that's what makes music so powerful. It can make you feel things just by changing the sounds that are coming out of the instrument. Yeah, me too, Snoozer. I like music a lot, but I'm sure there's so much more I can learn, and just by reading some of the books today, I think I'm ready to learn a lot more about music. Yes, we need to read, 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 and then, Checkers, I would like to buy a drum set. A drum set? Okay. Yes, I've already mastered the trunk. I think I can play the drums very well if I practice. Well, that's a great idea, Snoozer. But pretty soon, we're going to be going to another very exciting place and learning completely new things on our next Reading Road Trip. <laughs>